Hi everyone again. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool animation tool that I wish I learned about years ago. The cool tool is basically a free PowerPoint add-in that you can download. There's already a great tutorial listed in the video description for how to download and install it, so I won't fully recreate that here, but I did want to show you a couple of application ideas after you've already installed it. The add-in does two cool things. First, it lets you copy an object to the end state of a motion path. And second, it allows you to combine several motion paths together to form complex patterns. The first piece is what I'm most excited about because it helps tremendously with complex animations. For example, say you want to have these words come together here, then have them leave as one group later like this. Simple example, but it's a little tricky to do. First, you have to make sure that the how and the R are even with each other. And you can sort of guess this by previewing one motion path and then the other, which is a feature that you have starting in version 2013. But the add-in makes this much easier. Once you install it, you'll get a tools menu like this. Then you go to the left and select the end position option. Select the two objects that have a motion path and boom, it copies them to the place where they'll land. You can now double check that they're fully lined up. What's also very cool about these copies here is I can now select all three words, copy them and paste them onto a separate slide. Now I can group them. and animate them as one object and then have them exit the slide together. Without this add-in, I would have had to do all this through time-consuming trial and error adjustments, so it's a huge time and lifesaver. This tool would have been super useful actually for the complex animations that I did for my kinetic topography video, which took me forever to do using the old method. Now the second thing this add-in does, as I mentioned, is it allows you to connect your motion paths together. For example, if you wanted this how to move down and then take a turn, you can add an animation and then add a curve. Then you go to tools again and then go to the second option Make sure, make sure the object you're working with is selected. And then it puts together the motion pads for you. So if you do a lot of complex animations, you can see how this cool add-in can be a total game changer for you. And again, for instructions on where to get the add-in and how to install it, check out the video description and hopefully this will really help you with your animations going forward. So thanks for watching and see you for my next video.